Pinterest is a great website or application that you can use uh, by yourself or with your students to collate or curate information from the internet. Let's have a look. So when you open up Pinterest you'll see pins inside it and they should relate to the things that you're interested in. So I'm going to have a look at my boards. These are pin boards that I've created myself. And you can make as many boards as you like. So here are some of mine. Gardening, anything to do with recycle projects, quite into art, doing some home renovation at the moment. And here's one on education. And these are all pins that I've saved either from the internet or that other people have pinned themselves. So you can click on those and have a reminder about what the information is. And if you want to read more, then you can visit the website. Just to get a little bit more concept. Let's go back. So how do you make a pin? Well, you can search within Pinterest itself. So I could put in some keywords. Let's have a look at the learning pit. Right, this looks quite useful because it's how a teacher has uh, implemented the learning pit into their own classroom. So I might actually save that. So I'm going to click the pin it button and add to education. So the next time I visit my education board, it will be there. Now, I could share my education board with other people. So let's do that. Let's share a board. So I'll open it up and add people to the board. And you do this either by members in Pinterest or by using an email address. Okay, so email to Erin or find them as a member. Right, curation. Let's get into it.